What is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day four of the Made to Move It challenge. Today, I'm taking you through a 10 minute glute workout designed to target all areas of your glutes without targeting your thighs. Because while there are lots of great lower body exercises out there, when it comes to targeting specifically glutes, it's important that we understand the underlying muscle anatomy in order to pick the most effective, best exercises for your goals. So looking at your glutes, the gluteus maximus is your largest glute muscle. Its main function is hip extension, so increasing the angle between your front of body and front of thigh. When we move over to the side glute muscles, the gluteus minimus, gluteus minimus, they have two main functions. Hip abduction, so moving your leg out relative to your center line, as well as hip external rotation, so externally rotating your hip relative to your center line. Keeping this in mind, the way that today's workout's gonna work is we're gonna do three circuits, three exercises each. Each circuit will target your glutes in a different way. Each exercise will flow into the next for a total of 10 minutes. I will explain the form as we go during our rest periods. So all I need for now is for you to get yourself, your body, a little bit of room, as well as a wall or support that you can lean against. This will be a faster paced workout. There will be some exercises that you've probably never seen before. So don't worry if you have to press pause, if you have to slow it down, if you gotta go at half speed, if you gotta rewind, watch it again. I promise it will be worth learning these exercises because best glute pump you've ever had. I'm making that promise to you right now, me to you. So if you're excited for today's video, make sure to shoot me a thumbs up and let's get into it. Getting into position for our first circuit, we're gonna be targeting the gluteus maximus, all right? So that largest glute muscle with three variations of the glute bridge. So getting down on the ground, we're gonna be on our back, pulling those shoulder blades down into the ground, pressing those arms firmly into the ground, bending those legs up and driving our hips up toward the ceiling by squeezing our glutes and driving through our heels. This will be the first exercise, the glute bridge. We're then gonna go into a roll down glute bridge. So it's the same thing on the way up, but on the way down, we're going slow and we're rolling ribs, belly button, hips. Fast up, ribs, belly button, hips. And the final exercise, we're gonna be doing 10 seconds of pulsing at the bottom range, 10 seconds of pulsing at the top range, and 10 seconds of full range of motion, okay? Going into that glute bridge to start. Really focus on driving those hips powerfully up and getting a full extension. So what full extension means is that there should be a flat line going from my shoulders to my knees. My hips are all the way up. Whew. Let's keep this speed up. I know it feels easy now. Trust me, you will be feeling this by the end of this circuit. Getting ready for the roll down. Here we go. Ribs, belly button, hips. Fast up. Ribs, belly button, hips. And you don't have to touch your ribs, belly button, hips with me. I do find it helpful just as a cue to make sure that I'm going section by section. The key here though, even if you're not super confident with form, is to explode up, do that nice slow lower for me. Going into the pulse, 10 seconds of pulsing, just off the ground, okay? So tap those booty cheeks, and just give me a little pulse off the ground. Bring it all the way to the top, 10 seconds of pulsing up here. Okay, so going from that fully extended position, dipping a little bit, and now give me full range. And now the glutes are on fire. That's what this is designed to do. All the way up, we're almost there. <laughs> all right, standing it up. We have now about 60 seconds of rest and 60 seconds to get ready for our next circuit, which will be targeting the gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, side glute muscles. So for this, we will be separating exercises into right side and left side. Once we do all of our left side exercises back to back, we're gonna go into right side exercises. So first up, facing the wall, we're gonna need the wall here. We're gonna be standing on our right leg. What I want you to do is for the hip hike, sit back into that right hip, rotate into the wall, and pop that hip forward. Okay, so it's sitting back, popping it forward. We're gonna feel that through here. The next exercise will be the abduction. We're gonna bring it like this, okay? And the final exercise in this circuit, we'll be putting those all together. So we'll start by sitting the hip back, rotating it. 
then lifting up. All right, we are getting going right now. Starting with the hip hike. Sit that hip back for me, use the wall to your advantage. Use the wall to support you. Rotate in and bring it forward. And here, remember, we're twisting through the hip. We're rotating in at the hip. We're not doing this at the knee. We're not doing this at the ankle. If touching your hip helps you remember to sit it back, do that. Whew, stand it up. And we're just lifting that left leg out to the side. We should now be feeling that emphasis through here. Okay, to that side glute area. If we're not feeling this, I want you to do first thing, don't lift your legs so high. Okay, it's not a flexibility contest. This is about getting the best activation for your body. The next thing you can try is taking your hand, placing it here, use it as a cue. Okay, putting those two together, rotate it in, lift it up. I know it's a fast paced workout. Do your best to keep up. The key is that we're spending most of the time engaging our muscles and minimizing time getting into the next exercise. So just do your best to keep up. As a reminder, the end of this interval, we're gonna be switching directly over to the other side. Walk it around with me. Okay, same thing. Switching to having that left leg in front, left hand on the wall. Now we're sitting into the left hip for a hip hike. Don't worry if you are not keeping up perfectly. Don't worry if you're taking your time to get here. It's all right. We're gonna get to the same destination. Sitting back, using the wall for balance. Whew. Okay, stand it up and just abduct it to the side with me. All right, we are almost there for finishing circuit two. And remember, if you're feeling this more in the hips than in those glutes, shorten your range of motion. Try putting that free hand here. Using it as a cue to be like, hey body, this is what we're doing. Not this. All right, we're gonna go into Put it all together. So rotate in, lift it up. Rotate in, lift it up. And I know that you might not be used to doing this sort of glute training. All right, it's a little bit uncommon. But once you get the hang of this, if you come back to this workout, if you try it again later, if you practice it, this will be one of the best glute burns you ever have. All right, taking it down to the ground for our last circuit. We are going to be hitting all of our glute muscles, max, medius, minimus, starting on all fours. We are going to lift up our right leg. Our first exercise in the circuit will be the diagonal hip hike. So what you do is lean over to that left side and bring this leg up diagonal. Okay, it's not going straight out to the side. It's not going straight out to the back. We're leading diagonal, okay? Next exercise, we're just gonna straighten that leg. Starting over here, lean, slice it up diagonal. The third exercise that we're gonna finish with, we're going to start with this leg in front, as far as you can go. Sitting back in those hips, we're gonna be alternating here to here, okay? Keeping that leg as high as you can. I know we're gonna get tired, but we're gonna do our best. We're gonna finish strong, and remember, once we make it through this side, we still gotta do the other one, all right? We're gonna finish it, we're gonna do it, we're gonna start right now. Starting with a diagonal hip hike. If you're feeling unbalanced, widen your hands. Remember, you will get the hang of this. It will be the most effective glute workout you've ever had, especially considering we're using just your body weight. Whew. That stretch is wild. The further you lean into it, the better the pump, okay? Let's extend it, so put that leg straight. Same thing, but we're slicing up. Whew. Whoa. Whoa. 
Okay, finishing strong, put that leg in front, sit it back. Here we go. Keep it as high as we can. You got this, you gotta readjust. That's okay. We're forward when it's back, back when it's forward. Use that leg, use that momentum. Let's keep on moving. Okay, switching right over to the other side. Why do we do this? Lean into the right hip, hiking diagonal. Lean into the right hip, hiking diagonal. Stay with me. We can do this. Slow down if you need to. That's okay. But don't quit on me now. You're almost there. Okay, we're gonna straighten that leg. We're gonna extend it. Same thing, sit into the right hip, extend it up. Whew. Widening your hands if you need to. serious burn like I can already feel the muscle it's like it's grabbing onto my hip bone it's trying to force my hip bone out that's such a pump squeeze my bones all right I love working out with you guys I'm always happy to sweat together to work together I appreciate you being here I appreciate you doing the made to move it challenge if you enjoyed today's workout make sure to shoot me a thumbs up I can't wait to see you in the next one